My name is Kathleen Davies. I am the current vice chairman of the board of directors. I'm also the director of souvenirs, their legal counsel. I'm on the whistleblower committee, volunteer in other areas as well. You wear a few different hats. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how long have you been involved with the Mandarins or even the drum corps activity in general? And talk about your history with the corps. I first became introduced to the Mandarins in 2012 when my son Kenny announced he wanted to join a drum corps. I had no idea what a drum corps was. I thought, okay, marching band during the summer, maybe three weeks. So I was a little shocked when he auditioned, was given a place on, on the, on the uh, 2012 uh, corps. And then I found out just how intense it really was. I Participated the first year on the Capital Classic um, team. I was a volunteer for them, and uh, I've been on the Capital Classic crew ever since. I'm one of their um, members that puts it all together. Uh, at the end of 2012, I saw something that changed my mind about mandarins and standing off, and that was we were in the parking lot of Indianapolis, I had flown in to see him perform because I figured he would be one and done. And um, another core um, came up and said that they did not have enough uh, lunch for their members and asked if we had any extra food. And Mandarin's hosted them. And I've been involved ever since. And Kenny actually aged out with the core. He was six years with the Mandarin's. What has kept you involved for all these years, even after, you know, your son aging out and, you know, many people would, you know, just move on, but you've continued to be involved. Well, for most young people, drum corps is an amazing experience. They have the ability to travel, uh, to compete, to meet other members that are as passionate about their, prof their profession, which I guess is music. But what I also saw was that a lot of people like to sit in the stands and not become involved. And the cores need as many volunteers as possible to chaperone, to help put this on. It's an amazing entourage that has a lot of moving parts. There's always something that needs to be done. And the only way that the cores can continue is if they do have volunteers. Um, so do you want to just talk a little bit about um, financially, like what, what it takes to run a drum corps, um, uh, you know, like the mandarins, um, and you know how how that shows up um, on the other side of it for members when it comes to member fees and you know things that can be offset through fundraising or souvenirs or the the kind of income coming into the corps. Well, part of what we're asking for on March fourth is for people to donate to scholarships. I know there's a lot of misinformation out there. We do see on social media all the time people asking that we lower drum core fees, make it affordable for all. And a lot of times we'll see, I saw one post the other day that said, well, on 1974, when I marched, you know, tour fees were only $675 for me. You all know the minimum wage argument is going on in Congress right now. Minimum wage increases, our wage requirements increase, which increases the fees we have to pay every year. We have to buy food. You've seen on social media, drum corps that have run out of food or aren't, you know, providing meals. Or in 2019, our budget was a little over a million dollars and our core members should have paid $6,400 a piece for the tour. But we're able to offset that through donations, scholarships, uh, some grants. Grants do not do it every year, but they'll give you some grants from year to year on occasion. Uh, bingo. You know, we have the bingo operation and we were able to raise almost a quarter of a million dollars, which lowered our fees down to about 4,500. For every $157,000 we bring in, our core fees can go down $1,000. We want to make drum core affordable, but the only way to offset these costs is to get donations or other streams of revenue to help defray the costs that a drum core has. Wonderful. That's why, you know, fundraisers today, like on March 4th, are so incredibly important. So thank you for providing that information.